Coming up next on the Passion Struck Podcast, habits play a very important role in how we feel stuck because they shape how we interact with the world around us. For example, if you have a habit of procrastinating or avoiding tasks that need your attention, then you may find yourself unable to complete projects or reach your goals due to the lack of progress over time. To break free from this cycle, it's important that you identify any habits contributing towards you feeling stuck and create new ones which support your desired outcomes. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. Are you feeling stuck? Do you feel like your life is passing you by and all of a sudden it's been years since you made any meaningful progress in achieving your dreams or goals? You are not alone. The truth is that many people get caught up in a cycle of negative thoughts and feelings, which can prevent them from taking action to move forward. It's time to stop feeling stuck. In today's episode, I'll explore why getting unstuck leads to living an intentional life, identify the signs of being stuck, provide you an understanding of the science behind it, discover strategies for breaking out, and find purpose and meaning within our lives. Let's dive right into how we can break free from these feelings so that we can start living with intention today. When you feel stuck, it can be hard to identify what is causing that feeling. It's often a combination of factors that leads to a feeling of stagnation and helplessness. Feeling stuck can manifest in many different ways. You may find yourself procrastinating on tasks or projects that used to excite you, feeling unmotivated or uninspired by your work or relationships, or even struggling with feelings of anxiety and depression. Feeling stuck can also mean being unable to make decisions about important matters in life, such as career paths, relationships, or finances due to the fear of uncertainty. So that begs the question, what are some of the causes of feeling stuck? There are many potential causes for feeling stuck, including negative thinking patterns, stress and anxiety levels that have become unmanageable, unhealthy habits such as overworking or not taking care of yourself properly properly, and a lack of purposeful goals and direction in life. All of these things can contribute to feeling stagnant and lost in life. So therefore, it is so important for you to recognize when you start feeling stuck so that you can start taking steps to break out of it before it becomes too overwhelming. Some signs include difficulty concentrating on the task at hand, constantly comparing yourself negatively with others, having trouble making decisions, avoiding activities that used to bring you joy, becoming overly critical towards oneself, increased feelings of frustration or anger. If any one or more of these signs sound familiar, then chances are you might be experiencing some form of stuckness in your life right now. Feeling stuck can be an overwhelming experience. It often feels like you're in a rut, unable to move forward or make progress. You may feel overwhelmed and frustrated, as in your efforts are futile and nothing is changing. You may also feel hopeless, believing that the situation will never improve no matter what you do. There are many potential causes of feeling stuck in life. Some common ones include not having a clear direction or purpose, being afraid to take risks, a lack of motivation, negative thought patterns, unhealthy habits, stress, and anxiety, feeling overwhelmed by too many choices or responsibilities, procrastination, or even perfectionism. It is vital to understand the root causes of feeling stuck in order to address it effectively. Once you have identified and addressed these issues, the next step is to explore how science can help us understand our feelings of being stuck. It is important to understand the role that negative thinking patterns can play in feeling stuck. These patterns are often deeply ingrained and can lead to feelings of hopelessness, helplessness, as well as despair. They can be triggered by a variety of different things, such as stress, anxiety, and even past experiences. Examples include catastrophizing, in other words, assuming the worst case scenario, rumination, where we dwell on negative thoughts, or black and white thinking, where we see things as absolutes. This type of thinking creates 
towards a downward spiral in which we become more pessimistic and our ability to take action is hindered. To break free from this cycle, it is important to realize when these types of thoughts arise and challenge them with evidence-based facts rather than solely relying on assumptions or beliefs. Stress and anxiety can also contribute to feeling stuck because they interfere with our ability to think clearly, make decisions, and take actions. When we're overwhelmed by stress or anxious about an upcoming event, it can be difficult for us to focus on what needs to be done. This lack of clarity makes it difficult to move forward with our dreams and aspirations leading us into a state of stagnation. It's important that we find ways to manage our stress levels so that we don't get overwhelmed by them. Habits are another factor that may contribute into feeling stuck. We all have habits that we engage in regularly without much thought, some good or some bad, but they all shape our behavior over time. For example, if you have a habit of procrastinating or avoiding tasks that need your attention, then you may find yourself unable to complete projects or reach goals due to the lack of progress over time. Suppose these habits don't align with our values. In that case, they will inevitably pull us away from what we want out of life, creating an internal struggle between our current reality and desired future self, resulting in a sense of being stuck between two worlds. It is very important that you identify any habits contributing towards feeling stuck and create new ones which support your desired outcome. Feeling stuck can be caused by various underlying psychological factors, but understanding the science behind it can help you recognize and address them. With this knowledge, you can start developing strategies for breaking out of feeling stuck. Now let's talk about one notable person who overcame being stuck, Matthew Perry, best known for his role as Chandler Bing on the hit series Friends, he has been candid about his struggle with addiction to alcohol and prescription drugs, which began in the late 90s and early 2000s. He has stated that his addiction was a way for him to cope with the pressure that came from the demands of fame and success. Matthew Perry's addiction led to him missing several tapings of friends and caused him to be hospitalized several times. He acknowledged that it caused him to feel stuck, unable to control his addiction and move forward with his life and career. He sought help and entered rehab multiple times and eventually was able to overcome his addiction. Matthew Perry also sought therapy for his addiction and mental health issues, which helped him to understand the underlying reasons for his addictions and to find healthy coping mechanisms. He has stated that therapy was a crucial tool in his recovery, helping him to process his emotions and understand the reasons behind his addiction. Matthew Perry's story of overcoming addiction and mental health issues is an inspiration for many people who are struggling with similar issues. It shows that with the right help, support, and determination, it is possible to overcome being stuck and move forward in life. He has been an advocate for mental health and addiction treatment, and he has encouraged many others to seek help when they needed it most. So with that as a background, what are some strategies to break free from feeling stuck. Reframing your thoughts is a powerful tool for breaking out of feeling stuck. It involves changing the way that you think about a situation or problem and looking at it from different perspectives. This can help to reduce stress and anxiety as well as open up new possibilities that may have been previously overlooked. For example, if you are feeling overwhelmed by an upcoming project, reframe your thoughts by focusing on what you can do right now to move forward with the task instead of worrying about all the things that could go wrong. Making small changes in your life can also be helpful when trying to break out of feeling stuck. Start by identifying where change is needed and then take actionable steps towards making those changes happen. This could include setting realistic goals or creating daily habits that will help support your progress over time. Don't forget to celebrate each milestone along the way. Practicing self-care and mindfulness is another great strategy for getting unstuck from difficult emotions or situations. Take some time each day to focus on activities that bring you joy in life, such as reading a book, taking a walk outside, listening to music, or meditating, whatever works best for you. Additionally, ensure that you're getting enough restful sleep so that your body has time to recharge after a long day of work or stressors. By taking small steps and making conscious decisions, you can break out of feeling stuck and start creating a life of purpose and meaning. Let's next explore how to find purpose and meaning, which can be a difficult journey, but it is one that is worth taking. Exploring your passions or interests can help you identify what matters most to you. Take time to think about what brings you joy, energizes you, or makes you feel alive. Consider activities such as hobbies, sports, 
travel, or volunteering, anything that sparks an interest within yourself. Once these have been identified, start incorporating them into your daily routine or plan for when the opportunity arises. Setting goals and achieving them is another way of finding purpose and meaning in life. Goals guide how we want our lives to look and give us something to strive towards each day. Start by setting realistic short-term goals that are achievable within a few weeks or months. Then work up from there to long-term goals, which may take several years to complete. Having clear objectives will help keep motivation levels high by providing a sense of accomplishment once they have been achieved. Connecting with others who inspire you can also bring more purpose into your life by helping to build relationships that are based on shared values and beliefs, which can lead to personal growth opportunities through learning from their experiences or advice that they offer along the way. Reach out online via social media platforms or join local groups related to areas of interest where like-minded people gather together regularly for discussions around relevant topics. This could open up doors to new friendships and potential career prospects. Living a life of purpose and meaning can bring about great joy, fulfillment, and satisfaction. By taking action on your dreams and goals, creating healthy habits that support you, and celebrating your successes, you can begin to live an intentional life, which is about making conscious choices that align with your values and beliefs. So I've covered a lot today. Let me just bring this to closure for you. Are you feeling stuck in life and needing help getting unstuck? It's time to take back control of your destiny. Feeling stuck can be a frustrating and disheartening experience, but it doesn't have to stay that way. By understanding the science behind feeling stuck, utilizing strategies for breaking out of feeling stuck, and finding purpose and meaning in life, you can stop feeling stuck. It takes effort and dedication to break free from the cycle of negative thoughts and feelings. But with the right tools, you can create a better future for yourself. Stop feeling stuck today by taking action towards your goals. Start by understanding what it is that truly lights a fire inside of you. Use that as the fuel for intentional living, purposeful decision making, self-improvement, and leadership development. With hard work, dedication, and perseverance, you can confidently move forward knowing solutions are available to get yourself out of any rut or funk. I hope you all enjoyed the show. I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week, and especially those of you who listened. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Strike podcast interview I did with Dr. Ethan Cross, who is one of the world's leading experts on controlling the conscious mind, an award-winning professor and best-selling author of the book Chatter. He teaches in the University of Michigan's top-ranked psychology department and its Ross School of Business, where he founded the Emotion and Self-Control Laboratory. We're born into the world with this remarkable set of tools, our emotions, but we don't get a user's manual that teaches us how to use those tools. So we're just stumbling along and our experiences in the world teach us things. And sometimes the lessons we learn are really good ones when it comes to how to manage our emotions the things our parents and culture teaches us, but sometimes they're not. And so we're not calibrated. And where I see science as being able to really contribute is by helping provide people with those really guidelines for how to optimize the usage of these tools. The fee for this show is that you share it with family or friends when you find something interesting or useful. If you know someone who's feeling stuck, then definitely share today's episode with them. The greatest compliment that you can give us is to share this show with those that you love and care about. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, live life passion struck.